south portions of Alabama right now, but our WVTM 13 live Doppler radar scan, you can see here in central Alabama, not much rain happening underneath the cloud cover because we still have a lot of dry air in place. We take to the maps. We're looking at the south, mainly Mississippi, Alabama and Georgia. Notice the cloud cover is a lot thinner north of the 459 corridor. The cloud cover starts to get a lot thicker into Montgomery and Prattville. A couple of spotty showers have been popping up around areas of Livingston, the University of West Alabama and Livingston. But notice the rain. This is a, a loop, a satellite loop over the past couple of hours, and it shows that everything continues to move to the south of Montgomery and to the south of Auburn. And so we're not talking about the rain picking up quite yet for us, but it will by sunset tonight. And will likely start out your Sunday with rain. So let's get right to the future cast by 6 p.m. This is what our future cast looks like, and I do think this is plausible. The reason for the slow movement is we're looking at some of the weather charts, and this is a, a system that is nudged up against some dry air. It's hitting some static, and so it's having to redirect, and eventually it starts to bring up a lot more moisture. But once we look a little bit closer into French Camp and Meridian, you can see some of those thunderstorms do look a little bit stronger uh, into this evening. But for us, here in central Alabama, we're talking about rain that will continue through 10 p.m. Pretty soaking wet there in Coleman as well. It starts to shift a bit more eastward by 4 a.m. on Sunday morning, and we see light to moderate rain showers picking back up by Sunday afternoon. So it still is uh, quite soaking wet in your forecast until we get into Monday. That's our break in the forecast. Drier and cooler on Monday, but we do see a quick changeover on Tuesday as another batch of rain chances move into the forecast for Tuesday, which may